Hi there, Steve Hart. I'm going to be sharing with you a terrible experience I had with Spectrum, which is my local uh, cable company here. And uh, I use uh, them for my internet service. And um, so here's what basically happened. Um, uh, a month ago, uh, I noticed that um, my payment through uh, to Spectrum did not go through. Now, I have had this um, set up on a debit card. And you may recognize that card as being a uh, what's called Direct Express, and that's how I get my Social Security. And I, so I put auto, all my automatic payments uh, onto that card. Well, when I noticed that uh, I did not get payment, and I I noticed it like a few weeks later, um, I did not get a notice from Spectrum saying the payment did not go through. And you know it's very convenient to be able to use this card um, to um, make my automatic payments. Well, when I went to um, try, to try to put my uh, this new card, which it, what had happened, well, I forgot to tell you, this card was hacked. So when I went to put it back the new card onto the website, it wouldn't allow me to do so. So I had to go into the office uh, here locally in, in Palm Bay and to um, ask them to put this new card on, and they said. Uh, well, we can't do it. You've been denied. Uh, you're going to have to pay cash from now on for the next year. I said, what? I said, let me explain to you. This was not like I defaulted on my payment. This card was hacked, and I was not notified by your company, neither a phone call or an email, that it had happened. And um, they said, well, there's nothing we can do about it. So I went home, and I got on the phone and uh, called Spectrum, and uh, the per first person I talked to couldn't help me, so I asked to speak to the supervisor. When I got a hold of the supervisor, the supervisor explained to me that they understood what was happening and that they would process a ticket to the department to release that hold on my um, on this me using the automatic payment. And he said, he said, give it about maybe five or six days, and it'll it'll go through. Well, I waited the five or six days to go through. It didn't go through. I go back to the office here locally and I said, hey, what's going on? And they said, well, we see where the gentleman, the supervisor, submitted your ticket, but it was refused by the department that controls that uh, based on the fact that you still owed now $138. And I said, okay, so what do we have to do? And he goes, he says, well, if we re remove the it said, it said in, the, in, in the description on the computer that he had that if I removed the, the debt of the $138 that they would be able to uh, put my card back on as automatic payment. So I went ahead and paid the cash for that and uh, they said we will notify you uh, either through a phone call or an email and let you know when that's been done. I waited a few more days, nothing. So I go back <laughs> and uh, I, I said, um, well, what's going on? And they said, we're sorry, but they have still refused to be able to allow you to use your debit card in an automatic payment. And I said, this is crazy. What's going on here? And I noticed that on my receipt that I got from um, Spectrum, that it, nowhere on this receipt did it have the word Spectrum. In fact, it said the city of Palm Bay. And I'm thinking, well, wait a second. Who am I dealing with here? Am I dealing with the city or am I dealing with Spectrum? And the uh, gentleman who was the manager of this office I'm going to couldn't explain the, why Spectrum was not on here. It was interesting. Eventually, he said to me, he says, I, it looks like there's nothing we can do. I, will, I understand your situation. If I had been in your shoes, I would be doing the same thing you're doing, complaining. I said, look, if I don't get this taken care of, I have to go on social media and explain my story. And that's what I'm doing right now. I explain that after two supervisors said they'd be able to take care of this, that the, the Spectrum is refusing to allow me to use my debit card uh, or any credit card. Now, you may say, well, how come you're not using your bank? Well, believe it or not, they will not accept um, a direct a withdrawal from my bank account. It has to go through a debit or a credit card. And so even if I had my money in um, my bank account, I'd have to use my debit card, and that card, too, could be susceptible to being hacked. Now, let me just talk a little briefly about this hacking. When I called the company about this hacking, and this was the third time in the last year this card had been hacked, I said, why and how 
our people will be able to hack this card. This is a social security debit card and I don't know how they're getting this information. You know what they said? We can't tell you. I said, you got to be kidding me. I, you know, you don't know or you're not willing to tell me what's going on here. How are they getting my information? In fact, the last time this card was hacked, I, I caught it just as it was happening and I called them up and I, it, it, it said on the, uh, on the, on the website that, th that those um, purchases that were not mine were being processed. And I said, why don't you stop those purchases? They go, we can't. I said, what? It's my money. You're managing my card and you won't stop the payment. You have to let the payment go through because, yes, we have to let the payment go through and then you can declare it as fraud, which I did. And I went ahead and, and uh, declared as fraud and they did refund my money that was stolen from the card. But all the other uh, automatic payments I had set up on this card have not given me any trouble except for Spectrum. And they refuse to uh, take payment unless I'm going to be using cash. Now, as I said earlier, they constantly are contacting me, and they're probably contacting you, and trying to get me to sign up for cable TV. Uh, they probably get uh, two, three calls a month, and I get stuff in the mail, trying to get me to sign up for special deals. I said, look, I told the manager, I said, you, they're spending all this money trying to get new customers, and yet they can't give you good customer service. What does that tell you about the company? I said, it's putting me in jeopardy and you in jeopardy with your job and the, and the, and the company. Well, some people say, well, they, they monopolized, it, monopolized it, and it's true. They have. There are no other choices. I'm, I guess I could get a, a dish and use internet service through that, but my, I rent and my landlord will not allow me to put a dish on my roof or a pole outside. So it's not an option right now. The only option I have is to use Spectrum for my internet service. Now here's something interesting. I just got this letter yesterday from Spectrum and it's telling me about this debt that I owe, which I've already paid off, but it says you can go online and you can also make payment by setting up an automatic payment. Um, uh, this way you'll never worry about missing a payment. <laughs> so now they tell me what I can't do, this is what I could do. I'm, I'm tempted to take this back into the office and say, okay, what is what, well, this says I can, and now you're saying I can't. Where's the logic in this? Well, obviously, um, there's a poor communication and poor customer service when it comes to Spectrum. Uh, I've been with Spectrum. Um, well, they just bought out Bright House. And Bright House, I was with them for at least uh, 10 years, something like that, and uh, using them for my internet service. And <laughs> it's just, this is just crazy. It makes no sense. So I'm telling you, I can no longer trust Spectrum no matter what they're telling me and you may not want to consider your involvement with them too, um, especially when it comes to add-ons and different things that they want to, services they want to provide for you. Uh, I also went online and I found numerous videos on YouTube of people sharing their story just like I am and I've also found that they are un Spectrum is already under some lawsuits. Um, the company has some real serious problems and how it is that we, uh, my local uh, 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 government has allowed them to come in and provide the service for cable, I'm, I'm perplexed. So that's my story. That's what happened. And uh, I, all I can tell you is beware. Bye-bye.